ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आर टॉपिक इज द फ्रुक्टोज मेटाबॉलिज्म सो फ्रुक्टोज इन द मेटाबॉलिज्म द सोर्स इज टू सोर्सेस आर देयर फर्स्ट वन इज द इट फॉर्म्स फ्रॉम सुक्रोज एंड डायरेक्टली फॉर्म्स फ्रूट्स हनी एक्सेट्रा नाउ लेट्स सी द पाथवे so first in the intestine in the intestine there is sucrose by the intestine brush border sucrase so here one enzyme will act that is sucrase which will cause breakdown of sucrose into glucose and fructose and as i told you earlier that direct source of fructose are fruits and honey so they are the direct source now this fructose will come into blood fructose so formation of fructose is done now it will go into metabolic pathway then fructose will cause formation of fructo sorry fructose fructose one phosphate and this will occur in liver kidney and this is this is done by fructo kinase enzyme so kinase means transferring of phosphate group okay next fructose one phosphate will break down into okay so one minute let's uh, see the this process in the picture so here you can see this is the this whole structure is sucrose and when sucrase enzyme acts it is it will cause breakdown into glucose and fructose okay the sucrase enzyme act on this bond and this will cause formation of this will cause formation of glucose and fructose okay and now let's come back so fructose one phosphate then here another enzyme will act that is aldolase b aldolase b and the name of this aldolase b is fructose one phosphate aldolase enzyme and this will cause formation of dhafe and glycerol dehyde okay now let's see in the picture here so here it is fructose 16 bisphosphate so this is the number 1 carbon atom this is the number 6 carbon atom presence of two phosphate group in number 1 and 6 so fructose 16 bisphosphate now aldolase will act and cause formation of this is the compound is called dhafe and this is the compound is called glycerol three phosphate okay then dhap that is dihydro oxyacetone phosphate and glycerol dehyde will cause formation of glycerol dehyde three phosphate okay and both these two thing will participate in glycolysis glycolysis glycogenesis and gluconeogenesis so that's it the whole metabolic pathway of fructose metabolism and here one clinical relation is there that is aldolase b deficiency if this enzyme deficiency occurs then write down some 
disorder or disease will occur that is if aldolase B deficiency occurs deficiency occurs then there will will be lethargy vomiting then liver damage this will cause hyper bilirubinemia and hypoglycemia hyper uricemia lactic acidosis renal proximal tubule defect this is called Fanconi defect okay so that's it so every metabolic pathway there are some clinical relations so these clinical relations are very important for your clinical knowledge and your exam purpose okay so that's it the fructose metabolism metabolism pathway so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel